Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so before I head off to work today, uh, me and the lad, say hello. Hello. Check it out. Uh, we just need to nip into screw fix to pick up some stuff before I drop him off at nursery and then get onto site. Oh, we'll see how this goes. Hello. So he wasn't too bad at screw fix. It went really well. So he's now dropped off. So now I'm on site. Brand new job. Happy days. Let's go take a look at what we're up against. And it's raining as well. I do love that to the start of the day. It's fresh. It gets the blood flowing. Let's take a look. What are you thinking? Good place for a garden. No, this isn't it. This used to be an old prefab garage. So that's been taken up because the client's also getting an extension on the side of the house. Uh But here we go. This mud pile section here, gonna be a gorgeous six meter by three and a half meter garden office with divided. So we're gonna have three and a half meters this side to here, which is gonna be like an office come sort of living space, not living, you know, just sort of chilling, watching TV, drinking wine. And then the other two meters is gonna be, no, two and a half meters, sorry, it's gonna be, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's like a storage area. Oh, sorry, two and a half meters of storage, three meters for the office. I'll get there in the end. First thing in the morning, I haven't had a coffee or tea or anything yet. Um, so yeah, that's what it's gonna be. Uh, the fence line at the back, that's coming out. That'll be what I'm doing today. Get that stripped out and behind, if I come over this way, you can see there's a lot of vegetation here. So what this all is, is like, it's like no man's land. But what we don't want is this lot protruding, coming forward and pushing this fence line. So I'm going to put in concrete fencing or concrete posts with concrete gravel boards, nice six foot fence, good strong one. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to strip this out, get all that lock. So two meters back, I'm going to trim everything back, get it dumped around the corner as well, because it's no man's land. So, you know, it doesn't make any difference. And then that'll be put back in with those lovely new fences and that should like hold it back for a bit. I mean, obviously because it's no man's land, it's not maintained, it will come back again, but it'll be every now and then somebody just has to hoik over the fence to kind of get over there. But the good thing about the slotted fence panels is you just lift them out and you get full access again. Also makes life a bit easier. Uh, so yes, that is it. So this one, like I say, six by three and a half. She's going to be finished in Western Red Cedar. The door for the shed area is going to be finished in Western Red Cedar as well. So it's kind of like a concealed door. You've got Ansite Grey French uh, UPC doors. We're gonna have a warm roof on this one, which is my preferred sort of roofing system. And yeah, it's gonna be stonking. But I can't just sit here chatting all day, can I? I've gotta go get some stuff off the van. Starting with my, um, my gazebo because self-explanatory. Hello, alrighty. So here we are. So you can now say, I'm gonna put this on because as you guess, it still is raining. Um, so, my tent, gazebo, tea, coffee, I'm serving a lot, might do some bacon rolls. You know, it's whatever takes my fancy, really. <laughs> I wish. Right, when you get onto site, or when you're setting up for your own garden room or whatever, I mean, obviously I'm sporting, there's quite a lot of space. But where you lay everything out is very important, just to make your life easier later on, because you don't want all your materials turning up and just sticking them ad hoc somewhere, and you're going, ah, oh, I need the 4.8 length and I've buried it underneath everything else or my flooring is at the bottom and my tongue and groove like roofs on the top and I don't need that, I need the flooring. So what I've done here is, you can see the guard room's gonna go obviously at the end. Because if I set up here relatively close, not too close, it's gonna be up against the bloody thing. But just so that when I'm cutting all my timbers and everything else, I literally cut and I'm straight onto the side. You see what I mean? It's not like a load of distance, I'm not wasting time. The other thing as well is like where you like say putting your material. So as you can see, there are some old sleepers that come out from across here. So I'm using those. Spare space out three and a half meters from furthest to there. So I've got 4.8 meter lengths of wood to turn up the maximum. So they'll easily sit across, boom, do them at the back. Some 3.4s, they'll go next to it. And 2.4s will rest perfectly on these center ones. So you see what I mean? So literally wood there, pick it up, mark it, cut. Fit. I'm not having to traipse halfway down the garden. I say when it all turns up, it'll all be logically placed out so you know exactly what's going where and why. My sheet materials are gonna go here. So that way, pick up, straight on, done. 
So the first step in any build isn't necessarily the planning of the building. I mean, you should kind of have to know what you're doing anyway for that, but setting up the site, it's worthwhile spending that bit of time getting it right because it'll make your life that much faster and that much quicker when you get around to actually physically doing the build. So that's it. I think I've got everything, the basic stuff I need. Say goodbye to that fence. Bye fence. So, interesting stuff. So it's once you start talking to clients and stuff, you kind of sort of bit to learn a bit more and stuff. And so I was just chatting to her about this lovely bit of land. And um, so what actually happens, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the previous video, but I'll, I'll go through this anyway, because this is why I love my job. All this is like overgrown, obviously. And what happened was the house next door was owned by a couple. They went to sell it and it had this land here at the back. So this list of like, you know, your garden could be a standard size, like a this, or if you want, you can pay some extra. You can have that length, plus you can have the two section at the back. And they said, you know what? No, no, that's, that whacks the price up substantially. I think it's like 150 grand. Totally understand why you wouldn't want to go for that. Um, so they said, right, we'll have it. So they put a fence down the back and they brought that. Lovely sized garden, right? Now, <laughs> I'm going to take two meters this back, okay, and I'm going to dispose of it just around the back, you know, just somewhere out there. Um, so I've just made a little walkway. Would you care to come on a journey with me to see what I found? Right, you have to bear with me. And if I say out, it's because it hurts, because there's lots and lots of brambles. Right. So here we are. So this is obviously my back bit. Look at that. a fair bit of land there that'd make a nice little bit but um yeah that's just done um, let's go a bit further shall we quite nice so there's a perimeter fence over there coming on through i mean come on this is like what the it's massive, there's a bloody massive tree that's fallen down. And if you come through here. Oh. That's just, there's bloody enormous. There's an old Land Rover door. Just dumped there. And no, I didn't find the rest of the car because I'd have been well happy with that. Um, Land Rover tires. I mean, it just goes on and on. I haven't actually got to the end of it yet. This is why I love my job. How often did you come across here and find this? I don't know why I'm so happy. I just feel giddy that I found this open space. And it's not as if I found it. It was already here, but I'm just excited. I like being on the outdoors, so yeah, but... Really? So yeah, I could get now. Because when she said it's 150 grand, I'm like, bloody hell, that seems like a lot of cash. But I see why now, because that's a hell of a lot of land. Um, so what I'll be doing in a minute is, I've got my cheapo electric chainsaw. So I've trimmed a few of the bushes going back through this way. So I'm just gonna literally come, bring it in a wheelbarrow and dump it here, which is perfect. So here's a few bits and pieces I trimmed back earlier. I'll get rid of that. So there you go. This garden could have been absolutely stonkingly enormous. <laughs> I still reckon they should put like um, a massive, maybe like a, a showroom of garden rooms down there I could possibly build. Ah, uh, love it, absolutely love my job. So, before I quickly sign off for this particular video, I will quickly show you the little baby chainsaw that I brought from Screwfix, yeah. It's one of their Titan range. 50 quid this thing cost, it's only a baby one. I say electrics, I'm a bit of a pain in the ass trying to run the cable, but I had a very, very quick go of it before I'm lunch. And it'll eat this stuff for dinner. So I'm quite looking forward to having a go with that as well now. So there you go, little walk around for four minutes. I hope you enjoyed that part. And I should get back to you a bit later to see how far I can get on with this. Well, not too bad. So look, loads of bits of old fence panel, bits and pieces. I'm gonna lie, I put up a fight, but I was gonna win. There we go. That is the fence panel gone. So what I'll do, or we'll start working on now, it's basically two meters back from this point. I'll clear this bit of land 
I'm going to try and create a little walkway bit into there and then all this crap I'm just going to actually dump down that way because you know, at the end of the day the client doesn't want to waste like 300 quid on a skip when it's already full of crap and dirt anyway so yeah so that's going to be my afternoon's little challenge that see it's not all glamour this garden room business it's all, not all about the finishing touches and the plastering and the painting sometimes you've got to get your hands properly dirty I'm possibly stung quite a few times uh, but there you go part of the job and you know what I actually quite enjoy it. it's just nice being outdoors right be back in a bit Hello and uh, welcome back. It's not really welcome back because you've just been watching it all succession, but I haven't. That's been a lot of graft. Um, right, how have I got on? Oh yeah. Don't tell me it doesn't look like a lot. It was a lot. Um, so obviously the fence is now out, as you can see. So there's like metal rods in front of it and all kinds of crap that I had to disc cut away. This area is now cleared. Which is nice, to be fair, this was the hardest bit. There was loads of debris, people put old fence panels down there, had rotted and all kinds of stuff. Now, although this looks bad, once I get the chainsaw straight through that lot, in different directions, I'll just be pulling out masses of it quite quickly, which is great. So yeah, that's been a damn fan day. So there you go. So basically, roughly from there, to that concrete post there is about two meters. So our fence line is, here as you can see so that now means there's a lot of clearance before we end up like with brambles and stuff like that and like I said in one of my beginning videos we're gonna have concrete posts so they will just literally the fence panels just slide out something go in keep on top of it chop it back no problem at all easy peasy uh, like I say she's a six by three and a half and it's gonna be a bloody fun one to build I've really enjoyed today um, any other little tips I can give you so we talked about like setting up your site correctly Here's a little, here's a little one, right? When you're collecting crap and stuff, you get these big builders bags to fill up with shite, put a couple of uh, ground pegs in, hook it onto them. That keeps the bag open as opposed to it's all flopping down on the side and you can't bloody get stuff in it and it's just a pain in the ass and you're fighting it and you're just swearing profusely under your breath. Uh, so there you go, there's a tiny little tip for the end of the day. But otherwise, good start to the sort of ground clearance. I'll have that done tomorrow. Maybe, because I've got a whacking great delivery tomorrow. Most of the big building materials for this are turning up at some undisclosed point. I phone up in the morning and double check. But that's going to take me most of the day just to shift that lot on me, Jack Jones. So, yeah. If you're after a new job and you want to keep fit, highly recommend garden rooms. Really keeps you going. Um, but anyway, that's it. I'm off to pick up the nipper on time today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not cocking that up again. Uh, so I'll see you boys again tomorrow morning. Have a lovely evening. And I'll see you next. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. I'm trying to remember to say that every time, because if you do, it makes me happy. And if you've got any questions, ask them. I'll always get back to you. All right, see you later. Bye.